Hello everyone and welcome to the channel. Um, you are, this is probably your first time here as this is the first official video of Squee L's gaming channel. Um, today we're going to be jumping back in as Aloy in Horizon Forbidden West. Um, it is the brand new Horizon game, the sequel to the first one. If uh, you got, any of you have played it and the DLC. Um, this game's been out for about an hour now. I've, I've been waiting for this one a lot personally. Pretty excited to play it. As this is my first video, I will admit everyone, uh, thanks for being here. I'm a little nervous. I probably won't be as talkative after the first minute here. Just wanted to introduce myself. Um, right now, my streaming goal is kind of going to be more in the idea of the, the Cinematech TV show. I don't know if any of you guys remember that one, an old classic from G4. They didn't talk a whole lot. It was mostly just gameplay. And as my channel's kind of still in the works a little bit, I'm going to be feeling out, you know, the whole thing a little bit. I've got some ideas, and I think we're this is going to be the start of something really fun. And again, I hope you guys enjoy the content, and I'm excited to get started. Let's see where this, this new adventure is going to take us. Into the Forbidden West we go. Also, I don't know if any of you watched like a summary video. <laughs> I did play and completely beat the first game, but it's been a minute. I remember bits and pieces of the story, but it, I think it's going to have to come back to me bit by bit here. I learned the deepest secret of them all. The secret of her birth. That she is a clone of Elizabeth Subic. That much I did remember. Creator, born to prevent a new extinction. How did that go? Driven by Hades, a malevolent AI. Given sentience by a mysterious signal of unknown origin. And with a little help from me. Yeah, Silence. I think that's how you say his name. He was always an exciting character. Yep, those are homies. Remembering all the faces. I hope you guys watching this are as excited as I am to get into this. This was always uh, one of those games that I feel like really kind of hit it home. You know, it was, it was what I consider to be exceptional in its own way. One, that heralds both One of the great reasons to own a PlayStation. Alright. We're caught up, I'd say. We're just gonna dive right into it. Normal difficulty. Uh, minimal HUD. I mean, call me lazy, but I like, I like a lot of HUD. This game, uh, if, if anyone's really interested, I maybe should have mentioned this sooner. This game is uh, being played on the PS5. You can play it on the PS4, but we're playing on the PS5. And the old Thunderjaw. of a terraforming system that's spiraling out of control for those of you that maybe didn't play the first one uh aloy our main character here is actually a pretty interesting character the point of no return the story and the lore in this game are one of the things that make it pretty exciting aside from the gameplay and as you're about to see just the world the visuals we're in for a treat and that
And every night, I have the same dream. I'm walking under a brilliant night sky, through a field of flowers. And when I arrive at the center, I see you, Elizabeth. Waiting for me, even though you've been dead for a thousand years. You're the closest person I've ever had to a mother. And for a moment, I feel whole. left alone. This world is your legacy, Elizabeth. I won't let it slip away. The valley below is my only remaining lead. My last hope to find the backup. I'll do whatever it takes to get it. I promise. Yes, she will. For oh, it's this guy. <laughs> if it isn't Aloy, the savior of Meridian, anointed of the Nora. You know I hate being called that stuff. Well... Consider it a punishment for running out on us the very same night we beat Hades. I grew up an outcast. Remember, I'm not much for parties. Yeah. But that one was in your honor. Just saying. So! What are we doing? Must be urgent since you left so fast. Delving into ancient ruins? Or maybe it has something to do with the Blight. Both, actually, but, um... I should... Oh, no. I've been tracking you a long way. It's okay. After everything you've done to help the Nora and my family, I swore an oath to help you, no matter what. But you're stuck with me now. Like bark on wood. Okay, but if you're going to come with me, you'll need to be able to see what I see. <sighs> a focus. Wow. It's quite Never a gift. I'd get your second sight. I'll give you another one later and show Basically you Basically Aloy's... Data. I, I dare I say her fanciest piece device. of tech. We've got a lot to cover. Um, I'll have to explain everything as we go. See like this all the time? Since I was a little girl. Come on. <laughs> it's like he's really seeing for the first time. Shall we? Yeah, despite this being a, a game of like a really kind of intriguing vast wilderness there is also like this 
deep, deep lore with the technology. Like the technology, even though it's scarce, is actually pretty sophisticated. It's an interesting balance for otherwise almost like primitive uh, races of people. Let's get started. And they're still using swords and bows and stuff, but they got like AI and whatnot. <laughs> Oh, here we go. These plants don't look like the ones in First the sacred actual lands. gameplay. Focus helps you see the ones we need. I do tend to take it a little slow sometimes, so forgive me if that's not maybe some of your guys' style. I really soak in the environment and kind of sometimes explore a little bit. But I feel that's kind of part of the, the idea with a game like this. This game is really just going to be massive and... It's going to be one of those that rewards you for doing that kind of stuff. You want to look around, you want to explore. I remember crafting being kind of an element in this. So, I want to get a heads up on that. Refamiliarize myself with the controls. I remember a decent amount, I feel like, but... I'm really curious to see what kind of stuff has changed. I know I'm a little late to the party, because I'm a complete novice with this stuff, and... Uh, I just got the game today, some of them might have already been streaming it online, but I've avoided all that just because I really wanted to kind of be surprised as much as I could going into this game. Actually hoping that this really kind of starts a streaming thing. I've got a couple more games coming out here in the next like month and a half that I'll probably start streaming one after the other. It could be a lot of content. All right, well, Bitter? it's enough exploring. Sorry, <laughs> get a little distracted sometimes. Eat the medicinal berries. Yeah, all right, that's what we're gonna call them. Yeah. Medicinal berries. Those ruins. That's where we need to go. I see a few ways down. A few ways. Back. What are we after exactly? I mean, it depends on well, um, just it's how AI. much of a workout you want to get, um, I guess. It's hard to explain. Think of it like Or how deep the water is. Sounds mm -hmm. Oh well, we're about to find out. Alright. <laughs> Awkward and clumsy is going to be kind of my M.O. Just so everyone's aware early on. <laughs> Noticed your, uh, powerful life in this. Yeah, I, am. Um, well, ran into some trouble. I'm already really liking the environment. This is very, honestly, just breathtaking. It's a lot. Like, sometimes I kind of just have to stop and take it all in. Some familiar looking creatures. Anyone who may have played the first one. Looks like they left a carcass behind. Creatures, more like robots. Either way, you want to look at it, I think technically you'd be right. Is there another body of water we can trust to fall into? Is that deep enough? You know what? No sense in Leroy Jenkins in it on this one. Ah, there we go. Our little sight, that's useful. All right. Helps you identify uh, things in the environment. Kind of your classic gaming sight. If you play a lot of these types of games, these open world adventures the right stick. I don't know why it took me a second to realize that. <laughs> I'm a rusty. Alright. See 
see. How many arrows should we make? Done. I always try to leave a little Me extra too. room for, arrows ready. you know, ones we may actually find in the There's environment. But can't reach it from here. Nothing a well-placed arrow can't knock free. Just have to target the lock. After you. Do I have my spear yet? Aha, there it is. I just wanted to see. By the goddess. It's gonna be fun when we get to some real combat. This game this is pretty good at that from what I remember. I the transmission the uh, message I found didn't say. Uh -huh. Only that a backup might be here. We need to find a way in. The blood's not just poisoning plants. It's killing animals too. Man, this is some real, like, too. corruption. Seems like the state of the world's really escalated so, um, since the first one. What happened after I left Meridian? Well, there was a fuss when people realized you were gone. But then oh. some of us figured you only left them for something important. You were right about that. Yeah, right now I'm kind of just... I tend to get more picky as I go on in games but generally anywhere towards like the beginning of a game I generally kind of tend to just grab everything that I can I say that as I probably missed a bunch of stuff this way. but oh well Gonna do a little sneak a sneak. Yeah, for those of you that may be unfamiliar, I kinda you know, as far as like if you really aren't sure, you know, if you haven't played this game before, it's it's along the lines of Assassin's Creed, you know, maybe like the Batman Arkham games, uh Shadow War, Shadow of Mordor. So if you played any of those and you're thinking you might want to try Horizon, the answer for you will probably be yes. Alright. Give it a second. Okay. See how parts of it are glowing? Those are its weak spots. Got it. Weak spots. Yes. I remember. Okay. Concentrate. Well, that was horrible. Yeah, that's another thing. Uh, anyone who gets familiar with my gameplay, I'm never the marksman. <laughs> I will always be much better if I run up and just hit you as opposed to try and shoot you from a distance. But sometimes you got to do a little of both. Oh, this guy shows you how it's done, really. All right, let's do this. He wasn't really ready for that kind of heat. <laughs> Another one's coming. Oh, he might be. Let's start with that. <laughs> that was horrible. Need to heal. Yeah, I'm gonna be pretty awful for a minute. I feel like I embarrass myself getting into these brutal fights with these real weak enemies. It's okay though. It'll all come like back. Its prey? Yeah, kind of. Another ladder. Need to shoot off. Got it. So after the fuss over me leaving, what did everyone else do? Well, as soon as the celebration was over, you said you've had a focus since you were a child, right? Yeah. Found my first one when I fell into a ruin. Got the others from an old cache not long ago. That's good to have extras. some tech trades with Zero Dawn, but why would they have a backup of Gaia? Please register with reception for the tour. I guess they want us to check in with them. I 
should be able to pry this open. Hmm. There's climbing gear. Guess someone dropped in from above. Oh yeah. We're gonna get some climbing gear. Aloy did kind of get a different, here, uh, like, sort of a series of different there. tools in the first game. It did a lot of different things, like making traversal easier and whatnot. It's going to be interesting to see what they do to mix up the oh, gameplay in this one. Get some returning favorites from the first one, I'm sure, and some new stuff for this one. I believe there's a glider coming, doubt. as far as new stuff. So that'll be fun. Acid. That explains the smell. And it looks like something acid. big came in from above. You know, no big deal. Came. Just acid. Up through the wall. I should take a look at the rubble in that gap. Whatever came through here brought this down as it went out. If I can dislodge some of the debris, we might be able to squeeze through. Maybe I can find something to help in the camp. Aloy, over here. I think I got something. It's some kind of Osram prototype, I think. This hook looks like it can latch onto things. I must get uh, is that the grappling hook? Mm. It looks broken, but maybe. Getting our first it. tool. Hook it to the debris. And pull it out. That could work. The focus can help us search the camp and identify anything we can use to fix the tool. My focus picked up a couple of things to check out. Part of a machine could help fix the gears. Well, all right. Okay, figured there would be, but all that's left is this. Machine cable, stronger than rope. All right, I think I have what I need to repair the tool, or maybe even make something better. You could use this workbench. Oh, it's a work. Okay, yeah, see, I knew there'd be something over here. I was just like, what's this little thing all about right here? <laughs> It's a workbench. Oh, okay, so this is gonna be like probably where we do our crafting or our more sophisticated crafting, like making the pole caster. There, a uh, pole caster. Now to test it on the debris. Yeah, I, I think I already. Yeah. I want to say I've used something like this in games before. can't think of the game off the top of my head. If not, maybe... I can't remember if it was in the first one or not. I want to say it was, but... It's been so long, guys. <laughs> Alright, well... We figured out how to use it, but... Not sure how it wants me to clear the rubble with it. Now this is going to be one of those awkward moments where it's just... <laughs> I embarrass myself in a video game because it's probably something painfully obvious and I'm like, I have no idea what I'm doing. Hold left. Left trigger. And tap Y to pull it out, and then you hold it to use it. That's what I'm doing. Why you do these? Uh 
Okay. Honestly, everyone, I couldn't tell you what I did there, except for the fact that maybe I was just a little closer. Still don't understand that, but <laughs> we got through it, so that's what matters, right? We have to find a way to keep going. This is a interesting little shot here. I don't know. I like this. What's this? Pleasure to introduce you to Far Zenith. Please didn't turn off the kitchen. What you think you want? Scans. Our truth is simple. We say reach for the stars, even if you have to cross 8.6 light years of space to get there. Please proceed into the auditorium, where we'll unveil our plans. Wonder what's in this auditorium. We'll find out. Any luck? Not yet. But scanning the area with my focus activated might show me something. That's what I was hoping. Oh, I might be able to get up there. I'm doing this right. Oh. Wow. Well, that's fun. That works. That pull caster's useful. Too bad yeah. there's only one. Don't worry. I'll find you another way up. Right, make your own, bro. Alright. almost bad. <laughs> Seemed like she wanted to jump off the edge there. Wow. Okay, I gotta drop the ladder for Varl. get up there. I thought I saw something, but... Humans! Homo sapiens! Us! We have always pushed the boundary as explorers, pioneers, trailblazers. And now Far Zenith is taking the next leap into the future. That's why we're proud to have resurrected the Odyssey. When our government's abandoned in orbit, Far Zenith will actualize in less than a decade. But that's only the beginning. When the ship is complete, we will send the Odyssey and her crew where no one's gone before. So we're still kind of exploring all these ancient, or at least by their, in their world, what's seen as ancient, like, tombs and whatnot, with information of the old world. We'll create humanity's first off-world colony. The Odyssey may take 300 years This is actually, this kind of stuff is where the game starts to get deeper. We'll know they're on their way. And in the words of our founder, the late Peter Chimbumbe, the truest form of immortality is data corrupt. The playback stopped. The old ones could fly through the wow. sky? 
between the stars? Uh, well, yes, sort of. That ship, the Odyssey, it, it never made it to the other star. Something went wrong, and it blew up. Is that why Elizabeth gave them a backup of Gaia? For their colony? Oops. Just wanted to make sure it was still recording. Public presentation file corrupted. Member recruitment file available. Do you wish to reactivate? Yeah, reactivate. Let's see what else they had to say. Yeah. Guess if I didn't have anything else to do, I'd be pretty interested in what he had to say too. We all know Although, weren't we trying to like get to the bottom of that corruption stuff? Or oh, wow. I feel like maybe he knows. Creates unacceptable risk for the world's elite. We here at Far Zenith believe escape the inevitable, and so we reach for the stars. Now you've seen what we're building here. Infrastructure to support the Odyssey's construction. A state-of-the-art data center to facilitate rapid technological advancements. And you've seen how we're managing public perception. So invest and join us. Claim your birth on the Odyssey. Preserve your way of life beyond the concerns of Earth. Well, they were right about the world ending. I just didn't know how... yet. So everything they said back there about the next step for humanity... it was all a lie. These people only cared about saving their own skin. Yeah, well... didn't work out for them in the end. That Oswald guy mentioned a data center. There, the backup. It should be stored in there. Won't be able to swim across. I guess we'll have to find a way around. Come on. I still can't believe the old ones can fly. They were capable of a lot of things. For good and bad. Sure seems like it. I wonder what it's like up there. Among the stars. My focus might be able to help here. You show off. Should be able to pull that thing out of the wall. What? This thing's real touchy. Game, uh, that's another thing too. If you're unfamiliar with the Horizon games, it has, uh, they're all like robotic kind of, but they have their own, uh, different, like, species of animals, and then there's, like, almost various different monstrosities <laughs> if you're into monsters. Up here. It's another thing that makes this game unique and fun. Man, we got some more little guys. 
I feel like they're gonna end up becoming prey at this rate though. There's a giant worm roaming around. You take the left one. I'll deal with the one on the right. Okay. Or there's, you know, us. We're hunters. We do the killings. Moving up. We do the sneak of snakes. I need to sneak up on him to take it out with my spear. Can you yeah. We're gonna First, do it right this time. Check its patrol path. Oh, patrol path? I don't even have to get like an upgrade for that. I can just. Path. Gotta get closer and stay out of sight. Oh, that's interesting. You can actually analyze different things about it. Huh. All right. Well, highlight is trash. say if, even if you're in cover like this if they scan you they can still find you so I'll have to watch out for that yeah see he's trying to scan I'm not sure exactly what his range is I'm hoping I'm just outside of it here looks like it yep all right good I you know just hide in the bushes over here picking berries while this guy's flipping out Stab you in the butt. All right. Mine's down too. You can stab him in the butt. <laughs> All right. Well, guess we're done here. Oh, can we not? Climb up there? Okay. I think we'd be able to. Gotta remember how to cry. No. To get down. Or how do you uh you know crouch? Throw a little rock. Something to freak out about for a second while I uh remember how to do this basic move. Uh, or this oh, it's hold square. Figure it out right as they see me, you know. All right, we can handle these guys. I'm kind of stunned. All right. Whoa! What's that? Yeah, that's what I thought. There was another one. Where'd he come from? See anything? Man, this game does not play. Even the basic enemies can give you a challenge if you're uh, just kind of fooling around like I am. I take them seriously. Got all. Or you know, he'll just uh, clean up what I couldn't do. <laughs> New look these days. It's a good thing you came along, buddy. Yeah, I know. Didn't have a lot of time to shave when I was trying to catch up to you. Don't worry, it's not permanent. Good. Sorry my whiskers offend you, anointed. Just 
stuff actually. This little guy got caught up in the blight. It's a blight. That's the corruption type stuff. Okay. The Osram must have used explosives against the machines. They managed to get a couple. Looks like there was a barricade here. The machines must have broken through. I want to say these metal shards I keep grabbing. I want to say that's the basic currency in this game, if I recall. I'll keep this for later. Guess that Osram didn't have a chance to use it. Careful, traps ahead. Oh, huh. might be able to disarm them. There. Managed to salvage some supplies. And not blow Just yourself up. And got more supplies. Looks like another camp. While we're here, maybe we can make some traps of our own. Might come in handy against machines. Good idea. I can use this. Yeah, you get to start crafting explosives and stuff. Always helps when you uh, have a much more decked out arsenal. Explosive hey. stuff, poison stuff, you know, we're gonna get into all that. Alright. Before we go any farther, let's actually craft a few things. There. Explosive trap made. If anything walks into one of those. Over here, Aloy. I think I see a way up. There's a little highlight. Oh yeah, here we go. Wait for him to come by here. And take him out. This one's a little more vicious than the other ones we fought, I believe. If I remember correctly. Oh yeah, I could use a blast trap, but nah. I feel that's wasteful. Maybe I'll get the other one with a blast trap. How does it this guy moves anytime soon? Alrighty, I think just for the sake of uh, performance, I am actually going to try to use a blast trap on this one. Uh, he's already suspicious anyway. I need to uh, probably see his track.
I'm surprised he isn't trying to scan. He just gave up. Yeah, see, I could take him out, but I feel like I should blow him up. Whoop. Yeah. <laughs> what was I saying about awkward earlier? I <laughs> just used the trap on myself, you know. And he's over here like, what? But he's still not... Yeah, we're just gonna take him out. Or, you know what, we'll go ahead and leave it for him. Because he's completely turned the other way. Get back in the bushes. And it'll just take him a second to walk over to where it is. And hopefully it'll take him out. And not just anger him. He's a smaller enemy though. So it should probably take him out. It's like, can he see you? Kind of sticking out of the bush there, but alright. Wow. Wow. You got guts. <laughs> I like how it's just kind of like a little balloon too. And he doesn't even really... He just walks into it. Doesn't suspect a thing. This balloon wasn't here before. Although I shouldn't say anything after I blew myself up in the bushes of it. <laughs> they all have their secrets, but every place is different. Maybe later down the line, I've I've tried to think of a couple different themes I could do for some of my shorter clips already, and do like a fail montage, take a clip from what just happened there, and that'll be the first one. Alright, I guess we're about done here. Good storm. So Wouldn't mind seeing the one. Lands, the Although I feel like a storm in Horizon is probably more of a hazard. Yeah, but I can only do it if I find that backup. Wow. I think we're winding our way around to the data center. We need to cut through that big building on the right out there. Hey, Varl. There's data here. You scan it with your focus. Oh, this game. Hmm. This data mentions the tech that Farzina has traded with Zero Dawn. But it doesn't explain how they got it back up. I'll keep an eye out for more data. Yeah, I believe those are one of your types of collectibles in this game. You can read some of it and I guess I get a little more Is insight to the game. Up? It's one of the, I'm kind of... I'm sort of like on the fence with how I go about these types of games. I know there's some people that are completionists. They'll try to get all that stuff. And then there's some people that just don't care at all. They just want to play the game and kind of experience it. I'm sort of in the middle. Um, I don't really go out of my way to get that kind of stuff. But if I do see it, I do try to just go ahead and grab it. I don't really read that many of like it or any of that. But yeah, you're right. It is the way we came. But there's a little treat. So, you know, and it's telling us to go this way, so. Okay, whoops. Okay, wait. What? That's right, I gotta forgive me, everyone. 
Awkward as ever. this again just because I had jumped down there. I have a bad habit of doing things like that to myself. <laughs> and I see what it wants me to do here. Whoa. You okay? Yeah. Guess we won't be going that way. Wow. All that just so it could be denied. Nope. Gotta look for these yellow types of things to grab on to. That seems well, to be the signifying climbing visual. Alright. Looks like some kind of meeting room. On to. I'm actually sort of surprised uh, how slow this game is starting out. I'm actually not complaining. It's, it's actually going to be a very long game. And there's going to be probably quite the number of clips going forward from this game. Some of them are going to vary for probably an hour or two, like this one. Some of them may be more than 30, 40 minutes. Some of them might be just clips. Um, we'll kind of see what works the best. But with this being such a long game, there's going to be a lot of content for it. And I guess this is a good time to actually uh, talk going forward. There's a couple games, like I mentioned earlier. This is going to be one of the primary games getting started on this channel. It's going to be a good provider for content. But we may also see some gameplay for Ghostwire Tokyo at some point. A game called Forspoken. I think that's more in May, though. Possible Borderlands. Um... The Tiny Tina one that's coming out in March, actually. And even over on Xbox, well, I've got uh, the Assassin's Creed Valhalla expansion next month as well. Dawn of Ragnarok, that one's actually going to be really cool. But I hope you guys are intrigued. And you guys are really wanting to see some of this gameplay. This will be the place to get it. It's okay, bro. We look alike because we're the exact same, genetically identical. But she was one of the old ones. How can you be her? Because I wasn't born. I was made by a machine. It's why I'm motherless, why I was cast out as an infant. I don't understand. What kind of machine can make a person? Remember when I said the backup is like a set of instructions? It's more than that. It's called Gaia. And for a long time, yeah, she it's Gaia. For the world that was actually a very sophisticated AI herself. in the first one. It was almost so the, she made one of the key me. players in the story of the Let's first one, if you really I'm think back. Again. And this place is my last home. You once said the goddess spoke to you when you went into All Mother Mountain. Was that this Gaia? Yes, but she's not the goddess, Oral. There isn't one. How can you be sure? It sounds like she anointed you with a sacred task. <sighs> I've had a lot of time to figure this out. And you will too, with the focus. But for now... The report said they were going to store the stolen copy of Gaia in the data center. So that's where we have to go. Okay? This guy's a pretty good companion. There should be one other guy. Huh. At least, as far as her, her main companions, hey, over here. a guy with the hammer. I found something you could use. Maybe running into him at some point. A weapon. Thanks, Will. Yeah, I'm always down for a new weapon. 
After you. There we go. Yeah, the bombs you can use like to shoot at enemies is always probably more preferable than the ones that you plant. You don't have to play the waiting game. It can be more offensive, especially as you start fighting bigger monsters. Down here. I think we're almost back outside. Good. There it is. I was wondering how long it was going to be until we saw this guy again. Probably going to have to fight him at some point. Not ominous at all. <laughs> Maybe that'll be the good uh, stopping point for this clip. Either right when I get to him or right after we defeat him. Depending on how long that takes. Oh, we got some more jerks down here that want to get taken out, huh? What is going on here? Why is this guy on fire? Like, I can't remember if that's how they consume one another or whatever. Either way. Oh, you killed somebody, you jerk. Because I go to kill him, and I was going to kill him anyway, regardless. <laughs> Alright, a little bit of a time jump here. Got ahead of myself. Um, didn't realize that one, the PlayStation caps out at over an hour or just about an hour of recording. Um, so we're going to go ahead and call it. Um, I'm going to probably stop the clip right here in a second and we're going to pick up on the next one, which I'll probably start immediately after this. We're going to head over here to the mine in the next clip and then probably come down here and help out with what's going on over here. Kill these machines. Um, yeah, as far as where things have changed, uh, we're now at the official open map. Um, this is the open world of Horizon Forbidden West. It's a pretty massive looking map. It's all still foggy, so we'll have to explore it. Um, it's, it seems comparable to the size of the first map. Different shape. I don't know if I'd say bigger or smaller, really. Um, this is kind of the first area you come to after you finish the prologue, which is the previous chapter we were just in. Um... Story-wise, you know, we pretty much just kind of reached a dead end in the prologue, and Harai and uh, we started our way towards the Forbidden West because uh, Silence, I think that's how you say his name, the character from the first game, basically lures Aloy out here, um, saying that he, you know, has knowledge, pretty much, um, to really summarize that without going into greater detail. So here we are. I kind of messed around. I got some quests picked up, and I sort of started exploring this area. Um, the next video we're going to clean this up and hopefully just kind of be done with this area and then we can come out here and we'll really just sort of dive into this um but yeah i will probably actually start that video almost immediately later today so if you like this video you won't have to wait long for the next one and i hope i will see you guys in that one if you like the content uh make sure you hit that like button and subscribe um again this is uh squeals gaming channel we just got started and i really hope to see you guys in some more we'll have uh all kinds of horizon content coming for the next month um starting next week we will probably also be getting into total war warhammer 3 on pc so i'll be kind of streaming those games back to back next couple months we're looking at games like the new borderlands dawn of ragnarok dlc for assassin's creed ghostwire tokyo and you go out farther to may there's this game called forspoken that i'm probably going to be on and I'm really hoping that there'll be a new update for Aliens Fireteam in the coming weeks, and I will probably stream that. There should be a new class. Um, but yeah, that, that'll be about it. Thanks for watching, guys.